What's going on everyone? Austin Job Plays here and welcome back to every single five star photo in new Pokemon Snap. <laughs> In our last episode, we did all of the sweltering sands, or or whatever it's called in this game, the desert. And now we're going to be completing Voluka by doing the volcano. That means in today's video, we are going to be covering the likes of Altaria and everything on this page. Shinx, Luxray, Talonflame, Monferno, Aerodactyl, Tyrantrum, Graveler, Archeops, Archeops, however you say its name, Slugma, Torkoal, Charmander, Charizard, Toyflosion, Flareon, and Volcarona. We covered Ho-Oh in our legendary episode, so I'm not going to be covering that. From my experience, this is going to be the first time that there is missions on level 3, level 2, and level 1. And it honestly has a lot to do with the Tyrantrum showing up in the beginning and, and scaring everything away. And I know that there is one quest that requires us to be in level 1. I've tried it in level 2 and level 3 and was unable to do it. And it's going to be the 4 star pose of Monferno and the 3 star quest called a Goofy Pose. Once we are at this big open, I don't know, rib cage or whatever it is, we want to look to the right after the Tyrantrum comes through here, and on top of here is going to be a Monferno. He's going to do this pose, and then he's going to do this pose, and then he's going to spin around, and he's going to scratch his butt. That butt scratching is going to be the quest. Now we are just going to fast forward through the course until we are in the last area, the lava area. Anyways, if you look behind you, toward where you entered, you're going to be seeing a Monferno come in. There he is. Great. Hey, buddy. He's going to jump over here. And he's going to jump over here. Monferno is going to make his way to the top of this pillar. You're going to want to throw an orb at him. Then he's going to do a variety of cool stances. And this one fire kick. And he's going to be like, ha ha, I did the fire kick. Do the fire kick again. I want another fire kick. Thanks, Monferno. When Monferno is scratching his butt, that's going to be a three-star photo. You do not need to orb him, contrary to that photo. Uh, just, he's going to do it on his own. And the four-star photo is in the middle of that fire kick. Yeah, I'm not beating that one. Slightly better. Nice. Fantastic. Now, there are going to be two Pokemon and quests that we are going to be doing at the two-star level. We are going to be doing Archeops and its quest, Archeops at ease. And then... Talonflame and its quest, a skilled hunter. We're gonna make our way to the rib cage over here, right? And then you're gonna see some uh, an Archaeops up there, and you're gonna see Talonflame up there. And essentially, all you gotta do is feed both. This top one is gonna hop down, and he's gonna go for one of them apples. Hungry for apples? Oh yes, he is now seeing the apples. Yes, I would like you to consume apple. Great. Anytime that the Archaeops is eating or posing afterwards, like right here, that is a four-star photo, but you do have to have a photo of it eating for the quest Archaeops at ease. And then this Talonflame is also going to want an apple. So we're going to throw down a couple apples over here. Oh, and I missed the photo. I do believe it's just going to make a straight line from where it is to where I am for that Brave Bird. And I'm going to do it the more conservative way where I throw one and then I watch him. Yep, there he is. I don't think that was a very good one, but we got it. You know, not the worst photo. I mean, it's not gonna beat that. Definitely not. But yeah, it does this cool little Brave Bird mood. Correction, there is one more that we are going to be doing at level two. The photo can be taken on two or three, but the quest can only be done on two. So we might as well do it both. See this group of Altaria? You wanna startle it by throwing a fluff fruit. And then this pool over here, you're gonna wanna throw an apple in there. And if you time it well, it's going to release steam, and these Altaria are going to be super, super into steam. They're all about steam. Call him Gabe. Anyways, now we're going to play some music. I don't know the exact time that you have to start playing music, so I just recommend playing it from, like, as soon as you enter this little crevice over here on your way to the ribcage. This bloom over here, we want to hit that. Now, I'm not too sure if all of the music beforehand was necessary. I'm not too sure if the bloom was necessary. I don't know. All I know is in order to complete the quest, I did these things and then it worked. You're gonna notice that these Altaria are chirping away, super duper happy about it. And I believe this is them considered in a school 
or a, a, a group. Actually, since Altaria is based on a peng, a Chinese legendary bird of enormous size, I doubt that there's going to be a term for multiple peng. So let's just say the school of Altaria over here. Anyways, when they are chirping around above that steam, that is a four star photo. And when they are flying above you in that school, in that group of peng, <laughs> That is going to be completion of the quest, The Singing Dragon. I was able to get away with a photo of one Altaria and then a little bit of one below. I don't know if you need more than one for the quest, but it's it's right at the beginning of the stage. You could do it a couple times. It's not the worst thing in the world. Well, fantastic. For the rest of the Pokemon in this video, we're going to be doing level three max. The first one that we're going to be doing is there's a Shinx at the beginning and then also a Luxray. You know what? We could actually probably knock out a few in a single run. Anyway, as soon as you spawn in, you're going to be seeing this little Shinx over here, and this is a lost Shinx. And all you need to do is a trail of fluff fruit from where Shinx is to this Luxray. That's it. That's the entire mission. And then you're done. Aren't you glad I told you how to do a, a, a fruit trail in a much earlier episode? And then when it's... Yay, that's a four-star photo. When the Shinx is super happy that it's found its way home, that is going to be a four-star photo of Shinx and completion for the lost little Shinx. That's a better baby Shinx. Now we're doing the Luxray and the quest Luxray Vision. I do not know for a fact if you have to orb those two Luxray in order to do this quest, but we're going to do it anyways. This Luxray here, as well as this Luxray back here. All right, we're going to be entering this area. I'm going to hit it with an orb. Its eyes glow. When its eye is glowing, it's using quote unquote X-ray vision. And when it uses X-ray vision, that's going to be the quest Luxray vision. This Luxray, whenever its eyes are glowing yellow, that is going to be a four star photo because it's doing X-ray vision. But I, again, I do not know if you need to orb the other ones to complete the quest to Luxray vision. So just try the single photo. If it doesn't work, then go back and orb the other two. I'm also having trouble improving this Luxray. It's one of those photos that when you zoom in, it's too zoomed in, and when you're not zoomed in, it's not, it's too small. Oh, you ready for a nice, easy four-star photo? You see that Charmander up there? Throw an orb at it. It's then gonna do Flamethrower. That's a four-star photo, done. This Charmander, anytime that he's doing Flamethrower, that is a four-star photo. This Charmander photo is gonna be hard to get diamond. Its, it's mission is a little bit harder, but, but we have that four-star photo. Nice. Now we're going to make our way into the lobby area. Is this Slugma? You're going to want to hit him down with an apple. Wait till you're over here, because when you are able to see him... There you go. You have to orb him. And then he's going to be like, whoa! And then he's going to climb up the, the lava waterfall. And Slugma, when it is climbing up this lava waterfall, that is going to be a four-star photo and completion of the quest, Climbing of the Lava Fall. Oh, it's a little bit better of a Slugma. Neat. Great, let's do another run of the Pokemon. As soon as we start off, you're going to see a Typhlosion up here. You're going to want to throw an apple at him. Not the Altaria's face, the Typhlosion. Typhlosion. There we go. He's going to be disgruntled and he is going to continue to the next area. Approaching the rib cage, you're going to want to look to the left hand side and you're going to see Aerodactyl come to this cliff. You're going to want to hit Typhlosion with a life orb and then he's going to do Eruption. And when it is in the middle of the move, Eruption, that is going to be a four star photo and also completion of the quest Typhlosion Explosion. This Typhlosion, beautiful. Great, that's what I needed to get a diamond. What, 400 more points for size? It's like the same, it actually looks smaller in the second one. Why, because it's more upright, so it's taking up more of the photo? I don't get it. Charmander, could we get a better flamethrower? Char! Thanks. Here in the middle pillar room, these two Monferno, we're going to orb them as soon as possible and we're gonna remain having them orbed because I'm not really too sure exactly when they have to be orbed for this quest to be a thing. Or do I need to orb this Tyrantrum? Orb everything. Orb all three of these things. And this Monferno is going to hop on the Tyrantrum's back. Great. Keep Tyrantrum orbed. He's going to roar. And then he's going to run. And he's going to hit the wall. This Tyrantrum, when it is in the middle of hitting the wall... Oh, I didn't get it. We didn't get credit for it. Why? Oh, because it was a Monferno photo. That's why. Cool. 
when it hits the wall, that's going to be your shot. This Tyrantrum, when it is in the middle of hitting the wall, that is going to be a four star photo and completion of the quest, a quaking volcano. I'm not beating that one with these shots, that's for sure. Oh, but I also need a two star. Oh, and that cool pose is a two star, neat. Making our way into the lava room once again, this Torkoal back here, he's going to be approached by a Monferno. I don't know the exact time that you have to throw an orb, I just recommend as soon as you're able to, keep him orbed. Okay, that's it. Monferno is going to wake him up, Torkoal is not going to like that, he's going to hop on his back legs, and he's going to scare him away. This Torkoal, when it is on its back legs and scaring off the Monferno, gotta love that face that it makes. Wow, I took the exact same photo, except last time he was slightly more centered. <laughs> that is going to be the four-star Torkoal photo and the mission So Excited. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. This Torkoal, when it's on its hind legs, boom. Oh, we were a diamond already, but now it's a better pose. I'm not too sure why. Next up, we're going to be doing Graveler's four-star photo and its move when Graveler shows its hand. Here in the middle room, you're going to see some Gravelers on the ceiling. I re recommend being zoomed in for this. You're going to hit the scan button, and then you're going to hit them down with apples. And then you're going to throw some apples in the middle over here. Graveler, hungry for apples? I think you need to hit the scan button again, but I'm not really too sure. I just do it anyways. Yes, grab it, grab it. See, he's eating it with his big hand. I don't know why he's eating it with his big hand. The photo is if he eats it with his small hand. Grab my strong hand, Chad. Oh, there we go. He's using his small hand. Why the small hand and not the big hand? I don't know. But anyways, that's, that's the photo you need. These Gravelers, whenever they are eating with their small hand, that is a four-star photo. Why? I don't know. See? Eat with the small hand. It's also going to be completion for when Graveler shows its hand. Now we're going to be going after Charmander, which this is arguably one of the, I don't want to say the hardest quests, but it does require some luck and some timing from what I've noticed. And I've seen this overcomplicated by many, many people on the interwebs. And it's very simple. See those Charmander back there? There's currently three of them. If you have a total of five or more, then they'll be happy and you'll be good to go with this quest, right? So I'm just going to fast forward until we have access to the Crystal Bloom. Soon as you see the Crystal Bloom, you're going to want to throw an orb. Crystal Bloom is lit. Everyone's happy, right? We're going to throw some apples and these apples are going to be feeding these Charmander. And then when the Charmander, I believe when they lock onto the fruit, they are then going to call additional Charmander. And I believe you need a total of five Charmander out in the open in order to initiate this. You're going to play a melody. They're all going to drop their fruit. Continue playing melody. They are then going to get in a circle. Now I'm going to hit this Crystal Bloom again. I don't think it's necessary. But this Char Man Charizard is going to be like, oh, my, my babies, they need me. Okay, I will go to my babies. This Graveler is now going to get in my way. Make this really rough for me. Okay, thanks, buddy. Yes, the Charmander is super happy that the Charizard have landed. And that is the picture. wonder if you can knock the Graveler down. Because right in, in course one, wasn't there already a Graveler down? You had to hit it to get it to move away or something like that. And I remember it being like a throwback to the first game. Anyways, this is only a three star photo, as sad as that is. But when they're super happy that Charizard is there, that's going to be your completion of the quest Volcanic Hide and Seek. There might be something there with that Graveler. And I do know that you need a minimum of five Charmander. So as long as you have five out there and then you play the song, you'll be good. Fantastic. Now we are going to be doing all of the Pokemon on the alternate route. That's going to be Aerodactyl, Charizard, and Flareon, as well as their quests, respectively, Rest Your Wings, Red Hot Energy, and 3000 Degree Flames. Fantastic, we're going to be taking the alternate route for all of these photos. In this first room over here, we're going to be able to get pretty much one of the most epic pictures of Charizard ever. And with filtering and stuff, you could have a masterpiece. You're going to want to orb this Charmander. He's going to then run into position. Orb this Charmander. He's then going to run into position. Wait till they are both in position. Great. Now we're going to knock down this Graveler. You want to look down and you want to look right at the middle. And you want to turn this to as high of a boost 
as possible. Burst as possible. And there you go. That's your Charizard. In the final room, there's going to be some Typhlosion at the bottom. And the Typhlosion, we're going to want to bother them with apples. Are they hungry for apples? Soon as you start seeing them, start throwing apples at them. That's going to clear them out of the room. If you do the Charizard mission, is Charizard here and not Aerodactyl? Can I feed Charizard? <gasps> I can feed Charizard! I'm going to feed you all the apples you want. Ah. Ah, there it is. Oh, he's happy when he hears the thing. Okay, I didn't even know that you could get Charizard there. I'm even happier now. He's, he's one of my favorites. Charmander and Charizard are my favorite Pokemon. That's why I have a tattoo of my Charmander and my shiny Charizard hoodie. Isn't that right, buddy? He's my, he's my starter. He's my partner, Pokemans. When it is emerging from the ground, that is a four-star photo of Charizard. When it is rising up, four-star photo. When he is doing this big fire burst in the air, also a four-star photo. And when it is emerging from the lava pool, that is going to be your completion of the quest, Red Hot Energy. Into the blue lava room, all you need to do is feed a Flareon. That's it. You need to feed the Flareon. For me, it has been only after I fed it two times have I gotten the results I wanted. There you go. It's gonna do that little ember attack. When it is roasting its food with that ember attack, that is a four star photo. And also completion of the quest, 3000 degree flames. Okay, for our very last Pokemon picture slash mission, this is going to be Aerodactyl and rest your wings. As we literally just learned, you are not able to do the Aerodactyl quest line if you are doing the Charizard quest line that is red hot energy. Perfect, we have the Aerodactyl here. Like I said, we want to hit the Typhlosion and scare the Typhlosion out of the room. Man, Typhlosion got it dirty. It really does. So that same area that we found those amazing Charizard pictures, we want to throw these apples. Aerodactyl, are you hungry for apples? Perfect. Aerodactyl's now down on the ground. He is resting his wings and eating. You gonna be happy? Yay, <laughs> that one second of happiness, that's all he gets in his miserable existence. I do kind of like that this game has Pokemon that have typically been seen as like predators, like Aerodactyl. Like, in, it, it, it's chillin', you know what I mean? Like it has to eat too, and not necessarily people and things. Anyways, over here, Aerodactyl, anytime that it is munching on some fluff fruits, that's gonna be a four star photo. And also completion of the quest, rest your wings, great. But yeah, there we go. Aerodactyl, consuming fluff fruit, four star photo, completion of quest. Fantastic, and the very last photo that we have to go to is the Illuminous spot for Volcarona. Oh man, this, this, this map is just like such a cluster, such a mess. This is going to be for a four star photo as well as the quest Vocal Volcarona. You don't have to do anything in this room. In fact, you could just fast forward into this hole. Don't even have to interact with Volcarona over here. So we're gonna fast forward and make our way into this room, which is actually the final room. You need to hit both with the apples. You need to get rid of their flames. It's gonna be a mess. Perfect, one down. You try using the D-pad for faster rotations in this course, but it's pretty hard to orient yourself already, so maybe don't use the D-pad shortcuts. Great, we have one Volcarona, now we need to focus on the other one. All of my attention is to this fiery boy right here. And perfect, they need to both remain green and happy. I don't think they're gonna like grow back their flames or anything, but in case they do, uh, yeah, repeat. Great, we have both of them here. We're waiting for one specific photo opportunity where they're going to be talking to each other over one of these crystal blooms. I believe it's this crystal bloom. Nope, right here. That's your photo. We're done. Now this is going to be a four star pose as well as completion of the quest. I last submitted this photo with both of them very visible for the quest Vocal Volcarona. Perfect, I'm now going to submit this one just for a better point score. Oh yeah, wow, 6,499. This might be my newest high score photo ever. Yeah, my previous high scored photo was this Suicune at 5,999. Oh yeah, look at that, highest scored photo is that one right there. Nice. 
And I'm up to 16,998 uh, sweet metals. Awesome. Well, there we go, guys. That is all of Veluca being done. We completed all of Veluca and Maricopia and Florio. And next, we just have to do the jungle and Bella Silvia. And then the last three locations. We only have four episodes left. Golly, how time flies when we're all having fun. When we're all having fun and grinding for these photos. So much fun. Well, guys, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you had trouble getting the Charmander photo, leave a comment down below. And to, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Till next time, Austin John out.